manners maketh man. Do you know what that means? Well, let me show you. Good evening, my name is David, and welcome to Gentleman's Corner. Tonight we're going to be talking about two items of special importance. They are the Kingsman Glasses by Magnolia Clothiers and the Kingsman Fountain Pen produced by Rainhouse. We're going to be taking a look at both of these items in terms of their screen accuracy and their importance to the franchise. We're also going to be looking at practical matters such as their comfort, looks and feel. Now, as you can see, I am modeling these wonderful pieces, but let's go ahead and take a look at them closer. And by the way, I will not be speaking in this accent the entire video, just for this quick introduction because I felt that it was appropriate. Now, to the glasses. Alrighty guys, so this is the Kingsman Glasses by Magnolia Clothiers from New Zealand. This is the box that they came in. Go ahead and open that up. Inside is a lovely Magnolia Clothiers glasses case. Go ahead and set that aside. So we have the glasses case, we open it up, and I know that's hard to see in the light. Voila! Go ahead and bring those out. We'll go ahead and bring this back in for contrast. So these are the Magnolia Clothiers uh, Kingsman glasses. Specifically, these are the Harry Hart model uh, based on the glasses that Colin Firth wears in the Kingsman franchise movies. Um, as you can see, this is the dark tortoise shell that he wears <coughs> with the signature frame and the two dots on the side. This is the Magnolia Clothiers logo here in the uh, earpiece. And then we have the Magnolia Clothiers on the earpiece and then nothing on the other side. So overall these are very nice. So <clears throat> let's let's talk about accuracy. So overall these are a very accurate piece uh, if you're looking to wear these as part of a costume uh, for any kind of convention or anything. These are a very nice piece to add to your repertoire. Um, I will say they are just slightly thicker than what you would see in that is used in the movies for on screen um, and part of that is these are a reproduction they're not made to the exact same specs um, as the movie glasses but they work that they are w without spending money um, from the shop that actually made everything for kingsmen um, this is about as good as you're going to get. Um, these will run you anywhere from $50 to $75, depending on the retailer that you go with. Um, you can get these on both eBay and Amazon for right about in that price range. Uh, now, of course, these, uh, th this particular set, I did not actually get from either one of those places. And the reason for that is I won these as part of a contest um, that a Tumblr user was uh, putting on. So I got the chance to win these. Now the other item that I won with that contest, I'm going to go ahead and put these away. The other item that I won in that contest was this. It's got the lovely, lovely box, Kingsman Rainhouse with the Kingsman M logo. Ah. Uh, there it is. Get some light on that. So this is the Kingsman fountain pen. So <clears throat> this is a reproduction by Rainhouse of the fountain pen that is used by Kingsman agents. Um, this is the famous poison uh, cyanide pill pen that is featured in Kingsman the Secret Service. This is what uh, Eggsy uses to kill Arthur at the very end of the movie uh, and is referenced a couple of different times throughout the film. So this is not a pull apart. This is a classic, excuse me, classic screw fountain pen, which is very, very nice. It's got this beautiful golden nib. And I don't know if you can see that. There is a Kingsman logo on the nib 
of this pen. Um, it is absolutely beautiful. It's a very delicately done, um, very detailed piece. It's absolutely gorgeous. Now that same Kingsman logo is also available, and this is a little harder to see, so I'll try to get in the light. On the end cap of the uh, pen cap, but it's also located, it's very, very hard to see. I'll try to use the nib to point it out. Here in the clip, um, now again, because of its size, that, that one is almost impossible to see. So no expense has been spared in terms of getting all the details right. Now, unfortunately, this lever right here does not flip up the way it does in the movie. Um, I was disappointed when I saw that, but again, it's reproduction. You can't expect everything to be perfect. Um, otherwise, it's a beautiful piece. The other thing that I did notice is it is surprisingly heavy um, for the size of pen that this is. Now, I have not used this pen to write with yet. Um, I tend not to use fountain pens. I, I have used fountain pens in the past and just depending on who makes it and how they do their ink. Um, I've had good and bad experiences with, with uh, fountain pens. But especially because this is a collector's item, I don't think I would ever actually use this to write with. Now the end does come off and that reveals the ink mechanism. So this is an old school ink cartridge where you would stick this into a bottle of ink and uh, screw it up. And that's how you would draw the ink into the pen. Go ahead and put that cap back on. <clears throat> so yet again, another very pretty piece. And uh, it just sits real nicely right in there uh, in its little case. And again, that, that is a lovely, lovely case. So there you have it. You have the uh, Kingsman glasses by Magnolia Clothiers and the Kingsman Rainhouse uh, fountain pen. Now, I'm not entirely sure where you can get this fountain pen. Again, this was a special promotional item that I won through a contest online uh, through my Tumblr page. Um, so, but overall, that's th there's your close-up look at these pieces. Now, back to our regularly scheduled programming for some other notes. All right, so as I said, the glasses are just a little bit thicker um, than what you would expect to see from a movie reproduction. Um, the frames are just slightly heavier duty than what they wear in the movie. As a result of that, um, they can be a little bit cumbersome to wear. Um, and what I really mean by that is the plastic can be a little bit inflexible. And so... <clears throat> What you end up having is if you have a slightly larger head like mine, they can feel a little bit tight at times. Um, and it really just depends on the day, how I'm feeling, if I've been wearing my regular glasses all day, I tend to be more sensitive to it. But overall, I'm very impressed with these. Now, the other great thing about the Magnolia Clothiers Kingsman glasses that I've read about is these are glasses that you could actually put your prescription lenses into. So if you're somebody who has very poor vision where you cannot see without your glasses uh, and you want to take these to a show or a convention or you just feel like wearing them because that's your style, then what you can do is have your prescription installed in them. Uh, when they come to you from the factory, they have these clear uh, demo lenses. These are plastic and have no prescription of any sort on them, either magnification or otherwise. And for the most part, I mean, I'm, I'm able to look around and see. I, I do wear glasses to improve my vision. I'm slightly nearsighted, but it's not bad enough that I can't go a day wearing these for like a convention or something. So, <clears throat> and, and again, like I said, with the fountain pen, I don't know that I'd ever actually use it. Um, and part of that is just personal preference. It's a collector's item. I don't know that I would want to spoil it uh, by getting it dirty with ink, and but that's just me. So, but anyway, I uh, I hope that you've enjoyed this review of these items. Uh, if these are items that you've been interested in, I hope that our review has really given you some insight into them, uh, especially if you're planning on dropping fifty to seventy dollars on just the glasses by themselves. 
Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. We'd love to hear from you. Tell us what your favorite moment from the Kingsman movies was. For me, the entire movie series was what inspired the Gentleman's Corner aesthetic and concept. I wanted to have a way to talk about that aesthetic and that culture uh, in a way that was productive, but also help people who are on a budget attain that same kind of style. I hope you've enjoyed this session of Gentleman's Corner. Again, my name is David. Have a great night.